Hello, Pod is best for your cake here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now, today's game is the arcade coin up machine, um, Clax on the Atari 7800. So, this is a coin up conversion. We'll just get rid of that cursor out of the way. Okay, so yeah, this is 1989 Atari games, 1992 Atari Corp. I didn't even know this was on the Atari 7800. The first time I ever played Clax was on the Commodore 64. It was part of a four cartridge, which had, if I remember correctly, Phoenix Freddy. Big Big Top of Fun, uh, International Soccer, which is a very early soccer game or football game, um, uh, la, la, la. Flimbo's Quest and Clax. That was the very first time I ever played Clax. I also played the Spectrum 1 to 8K version, which was often very impressive compared to the Commodore 64 because it had speech and everything, which the Commodore 64 version did not. But I have no idea what to expect on this version. Now, this is based on a coin up machine that I've never played. Um, Probably quite a rare coin up machine. If you know of anywhere that's still got a working coin up machine of Clax, let me know in the comments. Anywhere in the world. But yeah, okay, so yeah, this is 1989 Atari for the original coin up, 1992. So they're, they're, they're sort of translating the wrong game here, so they should be good at it. So a first party game. So let's have a look. Okay, so a very dull screen where it says which level you can choose between level one six and eleven that was quite common back on atari games well blasters did a similar thing okay so let's start the game okay so there's no music on this version normally you'd get music at this point but yeah he's a basic premise of clax right okay so this is a tiny bit like tetris but not quite the same so what you got to try and do is like sort of match the uh, the uh, tiles to the appropriate colours, like the claxes of them they call it, uh, like sort of piles basically, that's a bit different colour than that one isn't it? So yeah, so I'll just put a green on there, okay so that's just give us two on that one, and put an orange on there, and an orange on uh, this one. And as you can see I've just created a clax there, and that, that gives us some points. So uh, it says at the bottom of the screen, clax is to go, so you've got to that's your sort of quota for to complete the level. So I've only got to get one more, so this yellow should do it. There you go, look at that. The, the remainder of the space in the uh, sort of field will uh, fill up and you get points for each one. So yeah, Clax, I'm not sure why they chose that colour. It's a bit dull and dark, isn't it? Right, okay, so it's not just vertical stacks you, you can make. It's like diagonals and stuff as well. So yeah, okay, so let's do that. I couldn't comment how close it is to the arcade machine because, I've, like I said earlier, I've never played it. But it's very close to the uh, Commodore 64 version, apart from the Commodore 64 version. It's got a lot more music. R right, okay, so, okay, add some of that. Right, okay, so put one in there. Take this one over here. So, yeah, you can see the idea. Get three in a row and you've made a clax. Not sure where the word clax comes from. Probably a made-up word specifically for the game, I'm guessing. Right, okay, let's try and get these claxes here. They're coming a lot faster now, as you can see. If one goes before you can catch it, um, it will sort of fill up the area too much. So this time, I don't know if you can read that, because it's very dark, but you must get three diagonals. So this time, we're going to have to do diagonals. So it, getting the uh, stacks like I have been doing will work, but it won't exceed toward the quota it will just give us points okay so gotta think a bit more strategic this time so i can put that on top of there can't i and if i uh, just put that there from there i need another green if possible okay so just no oh i messed that up and there's a the green as well okay i've messed it up a bit let's right okay let's try again so blue there yeah it up again. I was gonna put. The, I should have put the purple. Oh, actually, hold on. I might get one with the purple. Right. Okay. So you can actually stack them on top of each other as well, which will help you in circumstances where there's no one coming. Oh no! I thought I got a diagonal then, but it's quite uh, hard to see where your stack actually is on this version of the game. can't put any more on top of that one because we're at the full height. Looks like I'm going to lose this game. Just like Tetris as the uh, playing field fills up, uh, it's game over. Oh, I've got one, I think. Oh, not the right height again. 
Okay, so yeah, I've just lost the life on that one. Let's try this again, think a bit more strategic. So yeah, let's get this yellow one first. We'll put the green one here. Uh, okay, there's another yellow one there, isn't there? So if I put that one there. Okay, I think that's right. Two here. I just need another yellow one there. Uh, let's watch out. For, let's get these purple ones out of the way a minute. Come on. The trouble is with the game, you don't always get the pieces that you desire. Right, okay, so there's a yellow one. Hopefully, if I put one there. There we go. Look at that. That's what we've got to do on this level. Try and get three diagonals. Oh, that was like sort of... I can put that on top of there. That should give us an advantage. Put one here. And another one there. I just need another blue there. Put that over there a minute. You've got to really think about it when it comes to the diagonal level. And of course, the blue one isn't coming down there, is it? I need another blue. Come on, blue. There's a there's blue there. Oh, it's going to be too late at this rate. There we go, there's a the blue. It's a bit harder to see where your diagonals are actually positioned on this version of the game, I've noticed. Whereas the Commodore 64 it's a lot easier than this. It seems like they stack a bit too well and it doesn't... It's hard to tell if you've got it in the right setup, sort of thing. Okay, so I'm not doing very well at all, as you can see. Right, okay, let's get the... Yeah, another life lost. Okay, so you get the idea with clacks on the uh, Atari 7800. They've done a valiant effort of getting it onto uh, the uh, home system. Um, yeah, it is clacks. Uh, you want to check out the Spectrum 1 to 8K version if you can. That's probably the best 8 bit version. Commodore 64 version, version was pretty decent as well. But the Spectrum version had great presentation and it had speech just like the original coin up machine. I think it's the only 8 bit version that does, it, in fact. But yeah, this is Klax on the Atari 7800, a basic port, but they've done quite well to get the experience there. Um, it lacks any of the music that the coin-up machine or the Spectral Commodore 64 version had, and so CPC, etc. But yeah, it's still a good game, and I'm going to give this one um, 8 out of 10. So uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.